Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to do a review on this awesome kit that I found at Walmart actually. This is a Queen, I think I'm saying that right, a nail stamp starter kit. This actually has a beautiful plate in it and I don't have anything by Queen either. And for a total of $9.97 I believe it was, you get an awesome little stamper to it's nail stamping polishes and a scraper and of course this awesome plate. This is what it sh looks like before obviously and this is an accurate uh, size description as well I believe. This is beautiful and if you'll notice this is big enough to go on the longest of my nails. So that is a big plus. I love this. Um, without further ado I'm going to open this baby up and see what we have here. Ooh, this is very nicely packaged. Let's take out this first. So you get this actually really cute and well-designed stamper. It says Queen on it, the little crown, that's cute. Also has these little grips, I like that. Ooh, actually, that's kind of firm and sticky. I bet, um, I bet that would work quite nicely. So we have that. As you see, I have my swatch sticks prepared. I'm going to put this stamping plate out gently if I can. Let me hold this off camera, you guys, so I can bend that. There we go. All right, look at how pretty. Let's see if I can get this up for you. This is a big plate and really, really beautiful design. Um, let's see. This is just like a little tips and tricks card that comes with it. This is really cool. Actually, it's really, it's really quite sweet. Um, and then obviously other directions. There's this cute little scraper, little scraper card. And then a little information in the back. And this is what I was most excited about, guys, are these stamping polishes. These go for like seven or seven to ten dollars, I believe, on the Queen website. Um, this is such a bargain. And uh, sorry about the noise. Get these out of here. Oh, that was terrible. One more. All right. So these are quite big, actually. So I'm gonna get everything opened up, and I'm gonna do a couple of swatches. Um, I'm into Easter colors right now. I got more. Uh, stamping equipment and more colors. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful image. These are really pretty. I can't wait to see this on a few of the other stampers I have. All right, so I'm going to just set up and stamp off a couple of these plates. I have to say, this is Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice. Look at how cute, guys. This is really nice. No cutting yourself on this. Um, I am very impressed so far. If this stamps as well as it looks, I will be uh, very impressed. I'm trying to get you so you guys can see this a little better. Um, let me adjust my light here. There you go. That's a little better. All right, so I'm going to clean this baby off a little and just pick a couple of random ones. Okay, so I can say I feel a lot of depth to this plate. This is probably one of the deepest plates I have ever felt. Um, that was actually really surprising. I'm going to take my first uh, two, which I'm going to do in black, and put just a light coat of quick dry top coat on it. So we have a little bit of a sticky layer. I need to get some galaxy glue. Let's see, I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna pick this blotchy kind of design over here. You can see that a little better. And I'm gonna see if this will stamp out with this cute little stamper. Oops, let's, uh, let's not forget to prep, guys. Like that, and then we're gonna stick with our tape here. This is actually is sticking really nicely. You'll hear it kind of peel off, and for me, um, a semi-glossy, sticky stamper works the best. So we shook the let's shake the polish up a little better, I guess. 
All right, shake this baby up. Shaking. All right. So this is very, very thick. Really super thick. Let's get a little bit of this stuff on there. And scrape. Wow. Let's see if I can. Okay, so <laughs> that is pretty. It actually kind of looks like cow spots or snot. <laughs> Um, I'm actually very impressed at how sharp and clear that was. Um, I, I, I'm impressed and there's actually still quite a bit of polish left in that. I actually pulled up a little bit more with that. That is really surprising. All right, so I'm gonna clean and move on to another section here. I can't wait to try this with uh, a couple of new this, uh, new stampers that I got. All right, so I'm gonna try this lace rose here in the black. And I am going to, for not forgetting to put my top coat down really quick. And this is the uh, out the door in top coat, so it dries super, super quickly. Wow, again, guys, that transferred so pretty. I'm so trying to get, there you go, a little focus. This is amazing. Let's see if this stamps out as pretty as it looks. And it does, oh my gosh. You guys, I'm seriously impressed with this plate. Wow. I'm gonna have to top coat that at the end. All right, I'm gonna clean my stuff again and I'm gonna move on to the white and see if the white polish picks up as well because I've actually only have been successful with one other white polish and it's the one I've always been posting in the bottom of my videos. I will remember to post it in the bottom of this one. Let's prime first. I always forget that. I'm spaced out and super excited. I can't believe a Walmart run. My nail lady, actually, you can find her on Wickedly Sick Nails on Facebook. Um, she said something about this like a couple of days ago. So I had my weekly trip, weekly, monthly trip to Walmart, barely, and was so shocked to find this one kit just waiting for me. Let's scrape, stamp and place I'm making sure to roll oh wow i mean i got it a little crooked but that is really pretty i'm usually not into swatching i like to do it on my nails but now i see why this is convenient let's do one more and see how something more like complicated like this or this i can't decide Actually, let's do the skulls. I can't resist. I just cannot. I like my morbid things. Don't mind my dog <laughs> licking his toy in the background. I'm sorry. He's kind of a nincompoop, but I love him that way. I'm going to see if this actually sticks without a top coat. Oh my gosh, wow, it does. <laughs> This is by far one of my favorite stamps, um, uh, plates that I have used. I am so thoroughly impressed. It gives a huge, huge um, up for these guys. I'm actually <laughs> maybe even thinking about buying other plates. If there is any as good as this, this is great. Um, let me just slap a top coat over this. I really want to see. This is absolutely beautiful. And the polish, I can tell you already, is not as runny as other polishes. I went over that a couple of times without it smearing or smudging. This is beautiful. Um, I am going to do some reverse stamping with these um, in the next couple of days, so make sure to watch for that on my YouTube. 
my Facebook and my Instagram, as well as my YouTube, whatever. Thanks so much for subscribing, guys. We are almost to our 200 subscriber giveaway. I've decided to pick two people to send a couple of things to, just as my gesture of thanks and appreciation and uh, gratification to everyone who watches my videos and support me. Um, I got almost 2,000 views, actually over 2,000 views on one of my water marble stamping videos. I cannot thank you guys enough. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I will talk to you guys next time.